Happy holidays, everybody. Welcome to the next lesson in On One's Eight Days of Editing. In this lesson, let's take a sunset photograph and get creative with the tones and colors and some fun editing techniques inside of On One Photo Raw. Let's jump into it. I'll see you in the editing room. So inside of Photo Raw, I've navigated to the practice file for this lesson. It's this warm and cool.cr2 file. And in the edit module, the first thing I want to do is just make sure we have a level horizon. So let's hit C on the keyboard. I'll grab me my crop tool. I'm going to go up to the top tool modifier bar, and I'm going to grab this leveling tool. Then we can just drop this down, drag it across the horizon, and it will level the photo for us. Now let's just hit enter there to apply the crop. Now let's head over here to the right side of our screen and we're going to use this develop tab to bring out some of the brightness in our scene and we're also going to increase the warmth. So let's use our tone area first and to save some time when we're editing, we're just gonna use this AI auto button here. Just a really quick way to bring out the basic tones in our scene. Then we're gonna go down here to our color section and to make sure we have a nice warm sunset, let's pull this temperature slider to the right quite a bit. Maybe about 45 or so, that looks pretty good. Then let's head down here to our saturation and let's increase that to about five. That's just going to make sure we have a nice vibrant image. So now let's head over here to the effects tab. We're gonna add a filter and I'm going to add the color enhancer filter. It's a really awesome filter for modifying the colors in your shot. So let's first go in here to the color range section. In the color range section, we can modify specific colors and their hue, saturation, and brightness. So let's grab our oranges first. Now I'm going to make this filter quite intense and strong, but we can always tone it down later on, but I just like to make it quite strong at the beginning and then I can sort of cater that filter to the image. So now let's pull up on the saturation for these oranges. And let's also pull up or pull to the left on the hue and that's going to make them a bit more red and a bit darker. Then we can pull up a bit on the brightness so that we have a nice lively orange. Then let's do the same thing to our blues. We'll go into the blues. Let's pull up on the saturation a little bit. We'll use this hue slider to darken those blues, make them a bit more prominent. And then we're going to pull up on the brightness of those as well. So now if I turn this col co excuse me, color enhancer slider off and on, it's doing a great job of increasing those, those colors and making them really pop out. So let's just lower the opacity quite a bit and make sure everything looks nice and natural. The one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in here to this tube there and I'm actually going to remove this color enhancer from the tube because it's a bit distracting. So let's hit B on the keyboard. That'll grab me my masking brush. We'll go to our mode. We'll choose paint out and I'm just going to paint this away from this tube. There we go. So now let's use the same mask that we just created. I'll click on the masking options. I'll copy this mask. Let's go into our local adjustments tab. I'm going to double click this to rename it tube. And then I'll just go into the masking options and I'll paste this mask. But obviously I don't want just the lights on the tube, I want to darken up the tube a bit. So let's just invert that mask and let's modify the opacity a little bit. Just like that. 
So now that tube isn't so prominent in our scene and it's not distracting to the viewer because we're really just focused on this awesome sunset up here and our beautiful foreground. Now let's add another local adjustment. Let's rename this one sky. And in this local adjustment, we're going to keep this darken preset, but we're also going to go down here to our color area and we're going to increase the vibrance to about 25. Now let's hold down Shift and K on our keyboard to grab the adjustable gradient tool. And I'm going to go up to the top tool modifier bar and I'm going to choose the linear bottom preset. So now if I drop this on my horizon line, it's going to apply this sky local adjustment onto my sky. And obviously it's really, really intense. So let's just pull up on the feathering slider here so that it's nice and blended. And then let's head over here to the local adjustment itself and let's just play with the opacity a bit. And I think around 38 or so looks pretty good. So now let's head down here to this preview bar. And this is our original. And this is with the warm and cool styling that we've applied with some masking and some creative filters. Let's add one last filter in here in the effects tab. And I'm going to add the vignette filter. And let's use the big softy preset just to make sure we have some dimming of these edges so that we're focused in on this beautiful sunset in the middle. 